testosterone delivery subcutaneously versus intermuscularly. Historically, testosterone has been only delivered into the muscle, classic propanate, sipanate, enanthate, susanon 250. Of course, there's undecanate, which has to go into the muscle because it's such a huge bolus dose that you can't put it subcutaneously. So subcutaneous injections definitely can be used. They have to be used with micro dosing. And that's the theory behind it. So let's talk about it. It slows down the absorption into the bloodstream and leads to a more regular kinetic or amount concentration into the bloodstream. But it's not always true. That's why I want you guys to check your labs. I provided you labs on the app. You could check your testosterone total one free and your estrogen ultra sensitive estradiol regularly. You could check it at peak, at trough. You want to get an understanding. For